All right, friends, we're gonna work on the problem set for lesson seven. We're gonna do a couple of them together, just as a review from what Ms. Jansen taught us. So we're going to look at 22 plus eight. Now, the directions tell us to solve the following problems using the vertical method. Remember that vertical means up and down. So we're gonna switch the problems to an up and down vertical method. We can use our place value chart and number disks to help us and to build a 10 when necessary. Think about which ones you can solve mentally too, so because we're still practicing that. So our first job is to change it from a horizontal to a vertical. So let's do that. 22. Oops, I started going vertical, horizontal again. I want to go vertical plus 8. Now, it's telling us that we can use a number chart. For us to be able to see it, I kind of shrunk the number chart down a little bit, and we'll just use um, a marker so that we can see, okay? We're gonna add the 22. So I know that I have two tens, and I have two ones. I'm gonna add eight more ones. So let's add our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we did what the problem told us to do. Let's check now and see if we have enough in our ones to make a group of 10. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We do have enough to make a 10. So now this group can come over here as a 10 stick and we can erase our ones. Now I see that we have three tens and zero ones. So when I look, two plus eight made a 10, and now I added that 10 over to this side. Now I have three tens. Go ahead and try some on your own. 